Autoresponders allow you to instantly send an email to someone who leaves their email address on one of your landing pages. Autoresponders also allow you to set up a sequence of emails to send out to any segment of your database. For example, you might have an autoresponder campaign for prospective clients. The purpose of this campaign is to get them to become clients. Then, you might have a completely different autoresponder for new clients. Its purpose is to nurture and continue to send them valuable information to ensure their understanding how to get the best use of your site. To build an autoresponder email campaign, first, write the emails that will be included in this campaign. Once you've written your emails, then you're ready to build your autoresponder campaigns. Go to Settings and Autoresponders. Let's start a new campaign. First, we'll name it. Then we'll add the steps. We can schedule in days, weeks, months, or years. Then select an email template. This will list all of the email templates that we have in our email template library. We'll select the one that we want to go out in this first step, then click Save. Then we can add as many steps as we want. The Completion Assistant will run when people on this autoresponder campaign complete all the steps. We can automatically start them on another campaign, add a note to the account, notify you by email, and more. Once you have your autoresponders built, you can use them in three different ways. The most common way is when someone puts their email address on one of your landing pages. You can have the system start them out on one of your autoresponder campaigns. The third way is to manually assign a group of contacts to a campaign. To do this, we'll go to Client Touch, Click here on Autoresponder Campaigns, choose the campaign we want to use, click Apply, and that's it. A quick way to see the contacts that are on your autoresponders is to go to Settings, click on Autoresponders. Here we can see the number of current contacts on that autoresponder, and here we can see the number that have completed the autoresponder. To see the contacts, simply click on that number.